of uh, Uttarakhand. So this bill that has been brought in the budget session of the Uttarakhand Assembly of which you are a member, uh, it is similar to the bills already in existence in Uttar Pradesh and in Haryana. Under this bill, losses to public and government properties incurred during protests and strikes will be recovered from the accused involved. In the case of Uttarakhand, the most recent instance is what happened in Haldwani in Uttarakhand just earlier this month. At least five people were dead, over a hundred injured. The state has sent recovery notice to the main accused Abdul Malik of 2.44 crore rupees. His lawyers are now arguing this is a discriminatory move, this is a communally fraught move. How do you respond, Mr. Munna Singh? Because their contention is many people were involved no, in the riots. How you are you have, placing you have, liability you only have, on one person? You have, you have you have laid down the background very precisely. This uh, law draws cue from the observation of uh, the committee headed by Justice Nariman. And uh, this law has proved to be a huge deterrent, you know, uh, against the uh, damage to the public property, public and private property. Now, uh, it's very unfortunate that um, uh, criminals are being... Uh, branded as uh, communities. Uh, so far as um, uh, uh, bringing this legislation on the floor of the House is concerned, we do not at all mean to uh, target any community. Uh, the recent case of the Haldwani rioting uh, proves beyond doubt that the person who is absconding, who has been brought to the books, he was a land grabber, he was a mafia. And um, uh, you must be knowing and your uh, respected channel have been covering the minute to minute program uh, police ma police personnel on duty they were uh, they tried to burn them alive the police station was torched the police vehicles were put on fire and uh, you know like uh, still still there is not a single statement from my government from my state or anyone from my state saying that this was done by such and such community we always said <clears throat> this action is against the people, those who have been evading the law and definitely people, those who are taking law into their hand and causing immeasurable damage to the public and private property. They are liable to compensate it. No, no, but Mr. Munna Singh, two, two points. One second. Before I, go to, before I go to Ganshan Duhari, Mr. Munna Singh. No, no, two points. Two points. One, hear me out. One second, Mr. Singh. There are two points of contention raised the by the accused in this case. Number one, that he was not the only person who was involved in this writing. There were numerous people who were involved in this writing. And yet, the Haldwani District Administration has no. sent a recovery notice. He, One second, hear man. me out, please hear me out, Mr. He Singh. The Haldwani line. District Administration has sent a recovery notice of 2.44 crore only to this one accused, Mr. Abdul Malik. So please explain Why how not? he is liable he is for all the destruction caused by all see, the people see. accused of rioting in Haldwani. Please explain number one. See, 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 see. What is the models of, um, what, what is the bone of contention? Born of contention was grabbing a precious government land. Who was the grabber? Abdul Malik. Who instigated the violence? Abdul Malik. Who uh, instigated people to toss the police station? Abdul Malik. Who, uh, who is the man behind who instigated people to put the police personnel, especially the lady police constables on fire? Let me tell you at the same time. The Muslim, uh, I was referring from using a uh, name of a community, but they were Muslim people only who saved those uh, women constables from, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, being, uh, being burned alive. So, I mean, for God's sake, stop, stop giving name of the community to these criminals. If you go to the UP, <laughs> um, uh, this, uh, this Atik Ahmad was not a community. Mukhtar Abbas Nakhvi was not a community. Abdul Malik is not a community. <laughs> Some Pandey. <laughs> who was killed in the police encounter, he was not a community. Likewise, okay. people, those who are resulting to the arsoning, let, let me, firing, let me killing ask, people, Okay, let me ask uh, Gansham Tiwari of the Samajwadi Party, religion, as this law envisions the manner property. of recovery of losses caused to public or private property, it's called the Uttarakhand Public and Private Property Damage Recovery Bill, there is going to be a tribunal headed by a retired judge that will investigate these charges against the identified accused after the state's complaint. The assessment and orders for damage recovery will be issued by the tribunal. 
only after all sides are heard, both government and the accused persons, and this is going to be an order passed by a retired judge, the state is not going to sue Moto issue these notices and recover uh, these assets. Mr. Zaka to you, Mr. my Jata. fellow co-panelists. Yes, yes, Gansham, yeah. There are three things I want to say. First of all, look at this tragic and draconian model that BJP has built. For any user who, who does a basic Google research, rise of hate speeches in India, especially Uttarakhand. There are documented evidence that Uttarakhand has seen a consistently ri ri consistent rise of hate speeches led by BJP leaders. And across India, the number of hate speeches that are made are against talking, Muslim community... No, 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 Mr. Munna Singh, no, 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 not, not, not this uh, way. Not I, no, no, he didn't interrupt you. You don't no. interrupt when he's speaking. No, yeah, sorry. No, no, because, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. He speaks when in, in his time. You speak in your time. Gansham. So, a basic Google search will tell you that BJP leads by far this hate program in India. What is the outcome of this hate program? You as a state and as a ruling party of the state have, has a uh, hate ideology. In that hate ideology, people are instigated and your government is in charge. And whether it is a riot in one state or another, you are the judge, jury and executioner. The uh, genesis of this, this uh, law in Uttar Pradesh itself came when the judge, jury and executioner in Uttar Pradesh, Mr. Yogi Na Adityanath, did exactly the same thing and he was reprimanded, his government was reprimanded both by the High Court and Supreme Court and they, then they had to bring in an ordinance. A law made with malintent, designed with, with the model of hate, is bound to fail and is bound to break the <laughs> arms wrong. and legs of democratic uh, model wrong, of India, wrong, wrong. which is built on fairness and, and ability of a citizen to protest against unfair state. No, no, That's no, no, one, one second. Gansham, Gansham. Uh, no, no one Mr. is, no, Mr. Mr. Shukla, Mr. please. Uh, no, 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 one second. Me, I, I'm moderating me, the debate. Let me, let me, let me decide which guest to go to. No, sorry, sorry. No, 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 Mr. Munna, Shukla. No, 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 sorry. I'm sorry. I'm conducting the debate. Let me decide who I go to. Gansham. You know, the point is, nobody is saying you can't protest or you can't dissent. But nobody has the right to damage public property. And this has happened not just in, you know, uh, protests in Uttar Pradesh or in Uttarakhand. This has been happening for a number of years in a state like Kerala or Bengal, where CPM and left politics, Hartal, Dharna, Band, and people go and damage public, pro uh, pr uh, public property. <clears throat> now, in the case of Haldwani, let me, just, let me just read this out. In the case of Haldwani... There was curfew that was imposed for 12 days because the district administration, there was continued violence. Curfew had to be imposed for 12 days. Five people were dead, over 100 injured. Private and uh, public vehicles were burnt by the rioting mob. A police station was set on fire. How should the state recover this money? Because this is ultimately, whether it is public buses, police station, this is built on taxpayer money. I pay for it, you pay first, for it, everybody on the panel pays for it. Why should some jokers first, go and destroy that public property? First and foremost, everyone here and every one of your viewers believes that anybody who, who, who does damage to public property must be penalized. That is one thing. But if your model is that you will uh, simmer the state with your own leaders making hate speech, and then you will take one-sided model. As far as BJP's uh, interest in public property is concerned, Two of their Uttarakhand chief ministers in the last uh, few years have said that corruption is rampant in BJP government. Two of their own chief ministers. And as far as their, uh, their, th their idea about who is a community and who is a, is a gunda, you just have to look at how BJP has set all the, the records uh, in history of democratic India by the number of, of sitting MPs and MLAs who have criminal charges who come from the same party. Okay. It ranks over 400. So, BJP doesn't have a moral standi so, to be able to implement this, the such a law. Let, let, no, no, let me go to, let me go to George Kurian and then Vikram Singh after that, Mr. Khera as well. Sorry, Mr. Munna Singh, come on. I, I'm going, I've got three other guests, sir. Please, please have some patience. I'll come back to you. Let me go to the other guests. They've been waiting very patiently. Please, extend them some courtesy. Additional Advocate General of the State of Uttar Pradesh, Mr. George Kurian, uh, her name is Garima Prashad, told the Supreme Court that in the aftermath of the anti-CAA riots that happened in late 2019, early 2020, there were 106 FIRs that were registered against 833 protesters, 274 recovery notices were sent. Of these 274, orders were passed in 236 cases, while in 38 cases, it was closed.